Hola, me llamo Darlene y mi esposo Martín. Hola, necesitas clase de español. So if you don't know what we said, I just said who we are and Marty said, do you need Spanish classes? So today we're going to tell you some of the different places that offer Spanish classes in Puerto Morelos. So who wants to check that out with us? Me. See. <laughs> See. Woohoo! <laughs> Bienvenidos. Today we're here at the Lenin Institute and we start our Spanish classes. We're going three times a week for a total of 16 hours over a month. <gasps> I don't know how much I can retain anymore, but we're going to give it a shot. The school is on the corner of Timon and Catamaran. It's a small group class with a maximum of eight people. We meet three times a week, 16 hours in a month. You can pay month to month. They'll do an assessment on you to make sure that they put you in the right level of class. I give you different examples. First, I will uh, omit you. So, por la tarde, cocino. Okay? Kenny, what would that mean? I cook. In the, in the afternoon, I cook. In the afternoon, I cook. I can have more information. Para mi familia, I cook for my family. Okay, por la tarde, cocino para mi familia. Is it, I know it's optional, but is it actually better not to put the yo? Yes, the yo. it would be more common. Es más común no utilizar yo. This is a very interactive class and questions are encouraged. Bertram will give you homework as well. And I must say he's a very patient teacher. Please hit that like button and help us grow our channel by subscribing to our channel. If you're looking for something more informal, you can go to Spanish and La Rocas. It's a conversational Spanish class that's held every Thursday at 2 p.m. The location is La Serena Restaurant on Portside, just off of the main square. The price is 400 pesos for an 80 minute class and that includes a cocktail. Another option is a Spanish class held at El Pirata restaurant. It's on the port side on Rojo Gomez. Every Tuesday they have Spanish lessons with Diego. They have a beginner Spanish class from 4 to 5, advanced or practicing conversation class from 5.30 to 6.30 every week. This class is by donation, so please be generous. My favorite YouTuber for learning Spanish from is Q RuPaul. Spanish with Q RuPaul. I like the way he speaks. I like his sense of humor. I like the way he explains everything. He's got lots of videos. And if you go to playlists, it's actually broken down to uh, different courses for beginners, which is where I would start. Spanish course for absolute beginners. And then it's broken down into lessons. And he's even made himself into a little cartoon. Makes it a little more interesting to watch. Another guy I like to watch is Dr. Danny Evans the language tutor. Same thing, he's got a ton of videos and if you go to playlists, you can break it down. French for beginners, how to pronounce countries, Spanish for beginner learners. Again, a ton of classes. Uh, I like him for the same reasons. I like the way he speaks and explains things and breaks things down. If you're not interested in the video, if they don't keep your interest, you're not going to go back and watch it. 
So find someone that you like and that you can relate to. This is another one I really like. It's called Tu Escuela de Espanol. What I like about this is there's a lot of pictures and words and diagrams, which for me helps me to learn. For example, learning the days or the months or the seasons. Learning the different members of your family. This one is completely in Spanish, but because it's pictures um, and more words than conversations, it's easy to understand what they're saying. Sometimes I'll just take a screenshot of a certain item, like days of the week, keep that on my phone, and I'll practice that whenever I've got a spare minute or two. There's also an app called Duolingo. I find it a lot of fun. I find it teaches me a lot of words and learning the vocabulary is a big part of learning any language. This is another great tool, Madrigal's Magic Key to Spanish. You can purchase it online, but we actually found it in a bookstore in Puerto Morales at the um, Alma Libre book store. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, they had it in stock, so we purchased it from them. So always check local bookstores first. This is a great tool, explains a lot of things, and original illustrations by Andy Warhol. What? Yeah. Anyways, this is the book and we found it very useful. So with Spanish classes, online YouTubers, books, there's lots of ways to improve and expand on your language skills. I find it just a sign of respect trying to learn the language of the country you're in. And let's face it, a little bit of broken Spanish is better than no Spanish at all. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this information useful. Mucho gracias.